Yeah. Chess, what up? <laughs> What's up with you? This is hey, not me right here. Yeah. Yeah. So they yeah. expected us to be on DVDs talking reckless. Right. They never expected for us to get to you. Negative. So you guys stay persistent. They probably know my numbers. So they've been waiting. But it's fine. Do this all day. Excuse me? I can't hear you, you're kind of low. Can you hear me now? No, not really. Yeah, I can hear you, you're better. Okay, okay. Um, hi, my name is Kyle. Uh, can I ask for your mobile number? Um, do you have a, a badge number, an ID number? I'm calling as a consumer, so I'm sorry. Sure. Right. Yes, sir. It's going to be 83449. 83449, perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay, and this is this is T-Mobile, correct? Yes, sir. And where's uh this location? My location? Sir, you're you're low. I can't hear you. You were loud, now you're low again. Okay, can you hear me now? Yeah, I could hear you. Yeah, because the location that I called from this number says that you guys are in uh one three two Ave eight nine zero zero six. I'm actually uh offshore. Okay, but this is T-Mobile headquarters, correct? Number that I'm calling. Yes. Okay, yes, perfect. Sir. Um, so are are you just like a receptionist, or do you have a supervisor? I'd like to speak to a supervisor, please. Um, I'm calling as a consumer, sir, and, um, from how I've been dealing with this conversation, uh, from the moment that you said hello to me, um, I don't feel that, um, that should be relevant on why I would like to speak to a supervisor. Okay. Can, sir, I cannot hear you. You're, you're low. Again. Okay. Okay. So, um, the reason why you want to because I'm a consumer, and I would like to speak to a supervisor, and I'm calling T-Mobile headquarters. Okay. Um, just give me one sec here, okay? Let me just call one of my senior associates, because right now they're still having a phone call. So can you give me for like a minute? I mean, I don't have a choice. This is your ship. Yes, sir. I'll wait. Okay. Thank you so much. Just give me one sec here. No problem. 
Excuse me? You're kind of low. I can't hear you. This is headquarters, and you guys are a telephone company, and I can't even hear you. Like, you could go up and down. That's amazing. I wish I could do that with my phone. Okay, thank you. Okay. And I just put them on mute because that's what they're doing to me. I'm going to take their ass down. I think they're fucking slick. They got the right one. Shy town, baby. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Okay, um, well, would you, would, would you, would you agree that how I've been dealing with this conversation that, um, uh, I feel is very urgent, um, for my call to be taken, and I will give you guys the respect as a company, and I hope you give me the respect as a consumer, and an individual calling, um, asking to speak to a supervisor, so I'll, where I'm at, since you asked my location, I'll give you my time, I am central time. 12.34 p.m. And I would like a phone call back in an hour, sir, if you feel that's fair as a company. Um, we can actually have a call back if we can verify the account, but as per policy, we're not allowed to do that. Okay, well, then I'll wait on the phone. Then I'll wait on the phone. Absolutely. I'll hold. I'll wait for them to finish their phone call. Um, by the way, uh, may I know uh, what, will you, uh, what is your concern all about? Maybe I can... Sir, excuse me, sir. I, I will call every day, all day, okay? I have no job. This is my job, okay? Um, okay. I would just, I, I will wait on hold for them to finish their phone call. Okay, uh, okay, you mentioned that this is your job. I see that one, okay? Okay, thank you. Okay. I'll hold, I'll hold, I'll hold. They can't call me back in an hour, I will hold for an hour. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, I'm here. Yeah, um, just, uh, so, you know, um, uh, so that there will be no, uh, dead air here. Um, yeah, I know if, uh, if you're asking, uh, one of my supervisors, uh, uh is this a T-Mobile related officer? This is a T-Mobile related. This is a Metro PCS, now T-Mobile related for some, from somebody in a personal individual that took it upon himself as a consumer that thought you guys were so amazing. That if we committed to you guys and bought your full package of $60, that you guys give us incentives, a free prime and everything. And I am a person, uh, um, I don't even want to explain to you who I am, sir. I would just like to speak to a supervisor and I'm giving you the opportunity to figure it out and give me a call back in an hour. Can you please turn up your volume so I can hear you? Because I know you can hear me. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. You're not going to sell me, okay? You are Metro PCS, and you guys as a franchise company thought it was a brilliant idea to put your name on it. And I'm calling headquarters. So, sir, I have no job. You have my number as a phone company, and I'll give it to you. Are you ready? Because you're taking up too much of my time already. 
Excuse me, sir. Can you please take my number? I have no job. I will call back, but I would like you to well, whoever's taking that most important phone call over there. You know, I hope they're cutting a really big check with who they're talking to. No, sir. I think this this is a different situation than what you guys have in your blueprint as a company. I want to speak to a supervisor, and I'm calling headquarters, and this confirmed on the recorded line. My number is 1857, Massachusetts area code, 243 No, 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 no. That's my carrier. This is their company. Their name's on it. Real big. Okay. In pink. You're actually from, you're actually from the Metro BCS, am I correct? Yes. Okay. Okay, so you're going to be the security, okay? No, sir. I got things to do. You could call me back. You gave got my number. That's why I gave it to you for. Have a good day. You have an hour.